Okay, let's go ahead and take care of this system one step at a time. So obviously, the objective of this video is to teach you how to solve this particular problem one step at a time. Um, again, this is called a system of linear equations, and it's uh, generally taught at the algebra level, and uh, it's continued to be uh, emphasized in other courses, but it's something you absolutely need to know how to do if you're at any math level at algebra or beyond, okay? So if you're struggling with systems, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you some basic uh, things to be thinking about when you're uh, solving them. And uh, anyways, I just can't emphasize how important they are. You need to know how to solve systems, no doubt. All right, so I'm gonna get into that in a second, but first let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years I've constructed a ton of online math classes. So whether you're taking algebra, middle school classes, algebra in high school, algebra two, college algebra, it doesn't make a difference. I have a ton of courses. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. So whether you wanna take my full complete math courses or just um, uh, use my program as a supplemental type of uh, resource in your math class, um, it's definitely something that you want to know about, okay? It's very, very uh, comprehensive and in-depth. I really um, have a ton of stuff there. Also, I have some notes, math notes, that you can check out. You can find all this stuff in the description of the video or beneath the video. All right, so here we go. Let's talk about systems of equations, all right? And how do we solve systems? Well, let's just start here, okay? Well, knowing that we have a system... First of all, just real quick review. What we have, okay, this is called a linear system. This is one line, okay, let's call that line one. And this is another line, this is called that line two. In other words, it's X and Y, remember all this kind of good stuff, Y equals MX plus B, You're like, oh yeah, I can graph these lines on X, Y plane. Yes, indeed, okay, you can graph these lines. So you should be able to graph these lines individually, all right, uh, you should have that skill uh, as a prerequisite before you're uh, learning systems. So the first thing we could do, okay, is to graph these two lines. Okay, let's call this line one. Let's call this line two. We could graph this line right there, and let's say graph the second line right there. And, and let's just suppose for a second that I graph these two specific lines and they cross right there. They in the intersection point was right there, and that's some specific point. That's uh, some specific x, y point. That uh, location where these two lines crossed is, in fact, the solution to this system. So graphically speaking, okay, that's what we're trying to do. We're looking for an x, y, okay, uh, point, which is going to satisfy both of these equations, but graphically speaking, that's what it looks like. So the first method we could uh, use is called the graphing method. We could actually literally graph these lines on some really awesome graph paper and just do it super neat, and it'd be like, okay, they cross right there, okay? And then you can get your little x, y points. So that's like the first general uh, technique that we uh, learn uh with respect to systems. But this has a lot of drawbacks and it's really not practical, so we're not gonna use that. But you need to understand that it is a technique and this is, a, uh, from a visual or graphical standpoint, this is what we're trying to do to, when we're solving any system. Now, the algebraic ways of solving this system, which we really, really need, to need is something called the substitution method, okay? or the elimination, or what we call a linear combination method. These guys here, these are the, the these are like the, the, big, the big dogs, all right? These are the big tools that we're gonna be using. You gotta know how to do both, all right? So the substitution method, and elimination, and or linear combination method, they go by both names. This is primarily the main ways we're gonna be solving these systems. Now, as you continue to solve or learn more math, there's even other ways we can solve systems. We can use uh, uh, matrices, okay? Something called Kramer's rule, Kramer's rule, and some other techniques to solve systems. So there's even other ways. We have a lot of options, okay? But these guys right here, these two techniques, these two um, 
procedures or approaches to solving systems, something you definitely have to know how to do. And sometimes students favor one over the other, like, I like the substitution method, I'm really good at that. So they do all their problems using the substitu substitution method. Or they're like, I love the elimina uh, elimination combination method, I'm going to stick, I'm going to do every single uh, problem using that. Mm, guess what? That's not smart, right? You need both techniques because there are times where it's easier to take uh, use a substitution versus the combination and vice versa. All right, so let's get into this problem. And if you want to uh, try it on your own, this is the solution. Okay, it's one half and one, right? So this is our x and this is our y. So there's a solution if you want to go ahead and give it a whirl. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Well, what caught my eye is this 2 and this 4. I'm like, hmm, that's a good opportunity to eliminate, use the elimination method. Okay, so if you're not familiar with those methods, I have some, uh, I'm sure I, 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 have, I have so many videos on uh, YouTube. I'm sure I teach about that. But if you really need formal instruction on this and you want to check out my, my Algebra 1 uh, course or Algebra 2 course. Okay, so I'm going to use the elimination method. I could, again, you could use a substitution method, and sometimes it's not so clear on one method. Uh, uh, to use, but here, this is a good opportunity for us to use the elimination and combination method. Now, what I'm going to do, I have a 2x here, and this is a 4x. If I could turn this guy into a negative 4x, okay, then I can eliminate, I can squish down the negative 4x with this positive 4x, and this goes away, okay? So I'm thinking, you know, I'd like to turn that 2x into a negative 4x. It's pretty easy to do. Because all I have to do in, in systems, let's get rid of these guys here for a second. When we're dealing with systems, okay, there is a uh, rule, okay, in algebra that whatever I, I multiply to one side, I can multiply by the other side. It's not going to change the equation. So in other words, I'm going to take my first equation, I'm going to multiply it by a negative 2, okay, in the system. Now, when I do that, what do I get? All right, let me scoot this down. All right, so negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. That's what I wanted. All right, let me write that a little bit neater. Negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 5y is plus 10y. And then negative 2 times this negative 4 is a positive 8. So what I'm going to do, or what I've done, is I'm replacing this equation with this equation. Okay, they're the same equation. They just look differently. Okay, they are the same. They have the same value um, from an algebraic standpoint. So I just rewrote my first equation differently, so it has a negative 4x. Now let's write my second equation down here. 4x plus 3y equals 5. Okay, so this system here is the same as my original problem. Okay, it's the same as my original problem. You're like, oh yeah, it looks differently. This is a different equation, but technically it's the same equation, it just has different values to it, but it's uh, algebraically equivalent to our first one. Now, if I gave you this problem, it wouldn't be any fun, because you'd be like, oh yeah, this is easily, obviously, the elimination method, and you would be right. So let's go ahead and deal with this now. So the elimination method uh, means that we want to try to eliminate one variable, okay? And we do that by what we call a linear combination, which is like, like creating a sandwich. It's like you're going to take this guy and this guy, and you're going to smush them down into one another, and we're going to create one equation. So we're going to smush these guys down like so. And when I do that, the objective is to try to get rid of one of the variables. So let's just see how this works. When I add down, look, negative 4x plus 4x, that goes away, zero. I'm like, okay, great. Now I have 10y plus 3y is 13y, and 8 plus 5, if my arithmetic is correct, I believe that is 13, okay? So you're like, oh, that's pretty cool, because look, 13y equals 13. I can easily solve this equation for y. Yeah, I just go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 13, and I get y is equal to 1. All right, now let's go back up here. And remember, this was my solution. I already said this is the answer. Y is equal to 1. You see right there, they've got a 1 in that spot. Now, let's go get the X. So now that I know that Y is equal to 1, 
all right? I can use any one of these equations to solve for x. I can use the original equation. I can use this equation. Doesn't make a difference. I can use this equation, okay? And I'm going to plug in uh, y for 1. So let's go ahead and use that second equation. I'll use this one. Any one will work, okay? So that's 4x plus 3y equals 5. 4x plus 3y equals 5. Let me double check that I wrote that correct. 4x plus 3y equals 5. Okay, so now I know that y is equal to 1. I'm going to plug in, I'm going to replace this y for 1 and solve for x. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So 4x plus 3, I'm substituting uh, y for 1 because I now know that y is equal to 1. Okay, and I'm going to be solving this equation here. So that's going to be 4x plus 3 is equal to 5. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. And you want to show your steps just like this. And when I do that, I get what? 4x is equal to 2. Now I could divide both sides of the equation by 4. And I get x is equal to 2 over 4 or 1 half. Okay, so x was 1 half y was 1, but remember what this means conceptually is it's the point x, y, all right? So in other words, it's the point 1 half 1, okay, on our x, y plane, all right, our little x, y plane, x and y. So 1 half 1, like right here, that is the location the specific location that these lines, if I were to graph these lines, that those lines would intersect, okay? All right, so this is just an example of how to deal with systems. I, you know, I picked a, an example with pretty uh, easy values because, you know, it's important that you first understand how to solve systems with nicer, tamer values, but then you can have a bunch of fractions, decimals. It can get pretty interesting uh, from there, but you need to understand systems, what they are, the different techniques, don't get um, too um, obsessed with using one, uh, you know, um, uh, form, uh, one technique, okay? Oh, I love the substitution method. Oh, I love the elimin uh, elimination combination method. You know, you need them both. You need them both, okay? So they're both great techniques. And, you know, you, you, could, you could approach problems in different ways, all right? Sometimes it's not clear on which technique to use and just kind of, you just kind of go with one. You're like, oh, let me just go and try this. But before you start these system problems, look for opportunities to make your life easier, okay? All right, of course, none of this is gonna really stick unless you practice. So it's not enough just to watch my videos and be like, oh, okay, I get it. You got to practice if you really wanna learn this stuff. So um, again, you know, if you like my teaching style, I have additional videos on systems you can check out. Hopefully, you can become a subscriber. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button. That would definitely help me out. And again, if you really need full, complete math help, like a ton, then you got to check out my math help program, right? Again, with systems this level, I would recommend an Algebra 1 course, unless you're in a specific other kind of course, Intermediate Algebra uh, college algebra, algebra two, whatever the case is, you'll be able to find those courses as well. And don't forget, I do have uh, systems in my notes and my algebra one notes would be a good uh, starting place. And they're also my other notes as well. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.